In general, normally the valuable pieces are the large ones, the one with the details, and those with applied flowers. Mm. People think, well, they are valuable. The market is definitely up for for those pieces. Hey, welcome back to another B4 Treasures video. This is about listing. I'm Ben. This is my husband. I'm Ed. We together make up B4 Treasures, and we are gonna go through some of the things that we recently listed and put out on our store. This is specifically eBay, but we have Shopify, Macari, Poshmark, our own website, all kinds of places that we put our objects. But well, let's get started here and looking to see what we've recently listed on eBay. So to start, we have here a Yadro piece. Man, do Ed and I love Yadro. We both have a connection to this, that Spain, that's where these are from. And this is a very special piece. You can see all the amazing detail from the way that the flowers are applied after, all the way down to the fineness of her fingers and the feet there. This does come with some certifications and the original box, which is yeah. wonderful. Now, I don't remember exactly where this piece came from. Was this one we bought from somebody on Facebook Marketplace? We bought it from somebody on Facebook Marketplace. I think we had what three pieces. Well, it's maybe like so twenty dollars for this. Yeah, investment. And you can see we did we have it listed for three hundred fifty based on how other pieces have sold yeah. on eBay. So you can see here it's a twelve inch piece tall. We like to take a picture with the ruler to give perception yeah. perspective of how tall something is, and of yeah. course a solid picture of the bottom. Or the markings. Original was two hundred ninety. Dollars, yeah. and that was in 1985. Yeah. So you can imagine how expensive that actually was with exchange rates. So it made in Spain. These little numbers and in, in etchings all mean something. Yeah, you can look up different meanings. Original box. This is how it was shipped and stored back in the day, which people really value, right? If you're yeah. if you can find a piece that has the original box, it's gonna it literally increases the value for the the resale value because people expect it to be shipped more safely for storing it themselves. In general, normally, uh, the valuable pieces are the large ones, the one with the details, and those with uh, uh, applied flowers. Mm. People think, well, they are valuable. The market is definitely up for, for those pieces. Yeah, the market is up and down on yeah. this for sure, but this right now is, yeah, I would say fair. It's not super good. So you have to look at it. little yadros, not as valuable, yeah. but the big ones. Big ones are for sure. valuable. Well, let's see what else we have listed recently. This is brand new. I think it was time of this video, we got this yesterday. Yeah. And here we have it listed. Um, we have, This is a... Timothy Mouse. From which movie was I've this? I've seen this. Um, Dumbo. Dumbo. That's right, with the peanut there. So it says a little bit of information from Timothy's. Friendship, friendship offering. Yeah. Perfect. So it has all the information on the bottom, which 19, is so great. 1998. 1998, you can all that right there in the title, uh, which is great. And of course, we've faced that value. Based on sales. On other people's sales. <clears throat> Not what's listed, but yeah. what actually sold. And yeah. the, you want to look at the sell-through rate, which we can always talk about of how often does this sell and is it worth picking up? Yeah, those pieces also are like the market is right now is like crowded, like so many pieces. Yeah. But there are some pieces that are super rare. And I remember we found in a three stores in Canada, the deer from uh, Snow White, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. And it sold really high money. And so this one, I don't know this, how bright is this piece, but I think we invested yesterday eight dollars. Eight dollars. And so we saw that they had we found it at this um, consignment store, I think probably at least fifty to hundred of this these pieces, but the, the value was twenty dollars each one and most of them were up twenty. So we left them behind at this time. But this one had a little lower price and so we grabbed it and it had a little higher value. So that is one thing that Disney figure is you're hitting different markets. Yeah. People like Disney, people like mice, people like the movie Dumbo, people like Disney figurines. So whenever you see those multiple levels of interest, you're gonna hit different markets. And so that's why we bought this yesterday, listed today, and let's see what happens. So we'll, we'll go to the next piece here. This is a Danbury Mint. Danbury Mint. Wolf. I don't know if this is too dark. Or... No, it's yeah. our screen, yeah. So this is some awesome um, interaction of family of wolves here. 
Uh, this piece, what makes it special is this brand, um, Danbury Mint. You can see it has that signature um, icon for what's sold, made in China. Normally, you would think things made in China wouldn't hold high value of $170, but because there were so many, so few of them made, and the high amount of detail added um, has made these extremely collectible and just a, a kind of a standard of, of quality that we have bought and sold Danbury Mint many times. Yeah. So we come across this, we probably were able to find this one at, I think it was $15? Yeah. Was there something, yeah, that reason, I could be wrong about that, that's why you're here, we're both tough to remember. Yeah, 15 bucks. So that's definitely 10 times the value at 15. Yeah. Which is something we like to do is if we can buy something at $5 to give 50, you know, that's going to be a, a good buy for us. But if we buy something for $5 that gives 15, that's not high enough. That's yeah. only three times. And that, the amount of work you put into And shipping this piece is has to be in a very uh, spacious box with a lot of padding because it has so many um, edges, like very thin edges that can be can break really really easy. You're so right and that costs the padding material, the expense yeah. of that, the time invested is why we follow that rule ten times to protect ourselves. And it's a very heavy piece. It is heavy. And there's a lot of people who collect wolves and it's definitely an attractive, very attractive piece. Yeah, so if you see the Emperor Mint out in the, the wild. Emperor Mint and some of them like dogs go for really high money. And we saw a entire collection of every meat, the calendar. Oh yeah. yeah. There's, also the There's a dog days. for every day of the month. Yeah, month. Yep. those are fun. Can address that for the for the, the season. The, the season. Is. Yeah, yeah. that's really really interesting. That was a fun one. Eye catching. So Danbury Mint is one of our favorites. If you sign, find it, it's a good one. Yeah. Uh, next we have the a piece I just listed today and I wanted to show you a different level. So this I love board games and chess sets so that wouldn't normally are a good buy. This is one of the things that I did. We were shopping, we were moving quick, and I counted the pieces and I thought, okay, 32, that's only supposed to be in a chess set. I counted wrong because I don't count properly. And I just counted with my finger and look at we got one that's missing. One of the black pieces is missing. Yeah. And so I have that reduced the price from 65 down to what I thought was 25. I want to just get it back out. We paid 6.99, yeah. I think, um, which is a little more than we even wanted to pay probably, but they're really big pieces. I put an apple here for perception perspective. And as you can see how um, they're four inches, the king size, and people like to know the size of the king. Mm -hmm. That kind of gives them an idea of what would work. So I took a bunch of pictures and I showed... Actually, it's hand-carved. It is hand-carved. So I think that's why there's value there. But I counted it like this when it was like just laid out all like this and I didn't count close enough. So slow down when you're wanting to buy things and make sure you check all the quality. And I totally missed... That is a missed like a big chunk of the wood. So two, yeah, flaws, two flaws that brought it down to 25. That Based on seeing others, I, I searched missing ponds or damaged wood when I was searching for ideas of what value would be and there's other pieces that, have, pieces that have sold at that value so I was happy to at least list it. I thought about just donating it back but it yeah. was worth the time of taking these pictures and putting it up but wood hard hand cars chest sets very good money um, if you can get them at a good enough Yeah some of them price. are made in Germany. Um, mm -hmm. I remember uh, selling a miniature one for 85. Yeah. And there's no yeah. marking on it though. So how did you figure out it was from Germany? Oh, the, the one, those ones that I found in the past, they had a made in Germany. And those oh, pieces, I did. Uh, that's unique it's design. Very, it's yeah. as, it is the German yeah. mark, that's what I'm yeah. wondering. It could be the German yeah. style for sure, but I don't feel confident enough to call it the German, so I left it at that. So somebody can get a great deal, and there it is at 25 yeah. from my mistake. Next, we have kind of a different direction that I don't have a lot of knowledge about, but you see these little tiny green things on the shelf. You think, okay, they glow. 99 cents usually yeah. at a thrift store. You don't want to pay that much more because you don't always know. But this green color, what did you just say? They glow under uh, with very special light. Yeah. So where do you go? It's a black light. It's basic. So what do you do to take this picture? I put underneath. A black light? Yeah. And it just glows yeah, like this. It glows like that. And that's because it's uranium. Yeah. The back in the 50s and 60s, I think, is when I really used People used uranium. to have the cabinets full of, with those lights, and 
full with those pieces and so well i don't think they did back in the day i don't think they really pieces. knew that they glue in the dark <clears throat> it's something that we've discovered now with the black light yeah. that the uranium would glow like this and so people have curio cabinets now with the black light to get the whole thing to glow which i think is pretty awesome and it has some design like i think ro roses or flowers something but it's this really interesting piece they sell really well people definitely love this piece especially awesome. young generation right now i have seen like a lot of young people grabbing those pieces i mean some for reselling but some of them are like we do find that there's a great mm -hmm. potential drive in young people right now that yeah. want to have these physical pieces being the world is, world is so digital they love this idea of having physical pieces in their life again <clears throat> for sure love that uh let's go to this piece this is a 350 bucks for yeah. this ed what's going on with it's this an, piece it's an it's a miniature uh curry cabinet it's a rococo design or something french and it's brass very heavy and i like the unique uh details inside so i didn't have uh, I, I took a picture of uh inside maybe not like with it open yeah there you go. Has some uh, velvet. Fabric. Velvet? Velvet. Velvet. Felt, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Inside? Yeah, inside. And it's very heavy and back. solid. Yeah. I saw some of the soles in eBay. It's 300, 350. Yeah. It's a very unique miniature. Amazing. So this is something that a lot of people would buy a pack because this looks rough. Yeah. But it's a little bit of research and you could find the uniqueness this is from and it's an antique it's over 100 years old it's from the rococo period and based on some google image searching yeah. you know just trying to track it down little by yeah. little you find out and now yeah. we'll forever know what this piece is and so that's one of the fun things about this job is that you you start with basically no knowledge except for the pop culture or whatever you maybe you've been interested yeah. in but then little by little you grab a piece you look it up now you know for the next time you see it then you yeah. keep going and little you're growing your inventory of knowledge in your head to spot things in the store in the wild without even having to look them up so mm -hmm. this is a piece that probably you know under ten dollars and here it is three hundred fifty dollars so i we, think we pay we pay five ninety nine I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. That's often the common price. So yeah. a lot of fun to be able to and see actually, your money. It has invest. a lot of watchers and a lot of people um, saving these pieces. You said yeah. to sell soon. Yeah. So we, we offer, we are very happy to receive an offer from people and we, we send out offers. So that helps remind people maybe that liked it, like, oh yeah, I did like it and I just haven't thought about it in a yeah. while. So their offer is a reminder, also a slight discount and it helps them be motivated to go ahead and push through. And so that is a little bit about that. Just a couple more objects here. I want to show you Wedgwood, one of our favorite original brands because it's so iconic. Look at that deep blue Jasper wear with a white um, texture on top that are the 3D elements applied onto that blue Jasper wear. And here. I think it was the wedding of uh, Prince uh, Charles and Diana. Interesting, Diana. right? Yeah. And what just happened? The yeah. the crowning of of the king. The king. And so this is 1981 when this wedding happened. And of course, all the drama between Prince Diana. And that was the year when I was born. And was the year you yeah. were born, giving away your secrets. Yeah. And so this here is um, Prince Charles, and then all the different elements that uh, this collection set would do. Now we have it valued at 41. You would think maybe it'd be more valuable than that. It's just that their plates aren't that big and yeah. there were a lot of them made for the yeah. royal wedding. The, the rare ones from Wedgwood is more those with color. Like mm -hmm. this is the uh, Jasper were blue, light blue. Mm -hmm. But normally people like the black basalt. Mm -hmm. They like uh, green and yellow there are so many colors but some are really rare and the, the brown one is super rare people definitely love those pieces and not and blue though the whole market is kind of you know overcrowded with so many blue pieces and so yeah this is not one of the most rare rare pieces so don't don't just always grab them you want to make sure you get a yeah, good buying price sure this, a few dollars you know, normally yeah. So that's a little bit about Wedgwood. We'll keep talking about that brand because it's one of our favorites. But from England, and if you Google the history of Wedgwood, you'll find it interesting. And it'll look like this. You'll see this Wedgwood without the E, no E. Wedgwood. Made in England. 
perfect. So, okay, one of our favorite pieces will end on here. Yeah. This is Little Tom Thumb. Here he is without any removed background. He's wearing his um, dad's big boots, they say, in this image. He's wearing those big boots. And the time that people put in here. So, mm -hmm. this is uh, hand-painted. Yeah. Every single piece is hand-painted. I think one of the, my one of my favorite favorite uh, pieces is uh, Heaven, and the quality is there. They don't uh, go like cracked. Sometimes uh, the the glaze tends to be cracked. Yeah, the quality of the, the quality of those pieces are amazing, and and they're very realistic. I like the the way they do. The eyes and yeah, look at those it's eyes. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And the lips and everything. Yeah, Europeans They're hand definitely painting. know how to paint porcelain. You can't. So even the pants, though, you know, have a little icon. Yeah. These are from Hungary. It's the number one porcelain maker in the world. They've been around for hundreds of years. They produce things for Queen Victoria. Uh, they have some awesome new things that are coming out. They're still around. They still produce porcelain. Mm -hmm. Extremely expensive porcelain um, so that this piece here is $250 and he's not that big but $250 no, is this for big. him this is big yeah I, I think I put the, the measurement the measurements down here we have uh, 240 centimeters okay no eight and a half yeah. Eight, eight inches. It's, it's not that but big. It's, this is an old post. We need to fix this up. Yeah. That's what this tells me in full transparency. This was done when we first started eBay. It's a way to look through at the catalog. Even the pictures, I am very disappointed to look at the picture right now because it looks like. Ooh. Yeah, we don't have a ruler. We don't have. So it doesn't show how tiny it is. You have one picture of the bottom. Like, just. Yeah. You could be some more. So those are things we're learning. Like, these are things so that we've improved through, yeah. of, of, through the years. So we have our photo booth. Now our photo, our light box that helps things look better too. It's not bad. It's just it, you can see more. And then that was a really bad. And I feel like cutting. eBay likes when you take proper pictures when you show to the, the you know the people watching. Then it's just something nice in details. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is too dark for me. Yeah, it needs to be improved. There we go. So we're all learning something today, even ourselves. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with us, watching and talking about what we've listed here on eBay. Uh, if you've seen something you like or have thoughts on what we did, what we did right, what we did wrong, we're open to all those things. Please engage with us through comments, liking, emailing us, reach out however you can. Otherwise, and Ed, what do we always say at the end of our videos? Remember, people before treasures. Have a good day, everybody.